I'm not gonna do it with the needle, I don't use it. Another exciting delivery from Billy's shop. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Have you seen all the stickers? Oh, yeah, I know, I just took a photo. Stop, let's take it. So, I think, I guess this is like an official collaboration now. If you got the pallets coming from America, see Zurafsky Motorsport and stuff on the bottom. <laughs> so, there you go. It's time to unpack this baby. Let's see where it comes from. Yeah, that's where it look. Performance Engine Solutions, Livonia, Missouri. Export places, Brighton, Missouri. Missouri, yeah. It's a few yeah. quid here. This is going to be exciting to open it up. And then we wait for the second box. This is the power. What comes from the crane now is how to put the power down. GM. Original hologram, like you say, with the warranty, genuine parts, GM. We like GM, genuine parts, with, with the warranty. warranty, with the warranty. So this one here looks like TH400-4UB. Do you know what that may be? It might be a fancy gearbox. And it, says, and it says full manual trans brake. Yes. So, you know what that means? Fun time. That means <laughs> smiles time. Proper. Yeah. It cracks me up when it's fucking stuff on the thing. <laughs> that's, that's classic. That's good. Level 4 TH400, 900 horsepower, stock case, full manual trans brake, reverse pattern, ultra bell housing. Stronger bellows in. Yeah. It's good. Serious. <laughs> so we're gonna have a George in a minute hopping down because he wants to unwrap it. It will be just fair if he does it. Yeah. Christmas time. He's got to do it. So. Yeah. So this is the reason why we're gonna stop working on the van for a little bit, a couple of months, because we have to install this parcel in a different shell so right so the camera is rolling rolling <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Full of smiles. NSX heads. <laughs> Proper setup. Ah, oh, isn't it? Proper is setup. Serious. Also, that's the biggest crank pulley I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's true. Oh, it fell over a little bit on the way, on it. Well, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, Should it I did. Snapped something off on the end there. That was it. Whatever that is, what's that, like a sensor or something, some sort of sensor? Yeah, snap the sensor off. Yeah, temp sensor. Like temp what, sensor. What yeah, you snap the temp sensor, you fell off from this side to that side. Oh. And you snap the temp sensor. Ah, oh, it's nothing there. Not no. 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 Oh, you fell off from there. Yeah, look. That was there. Yeah, That's on, supposed to be there on the top, yeah. Yeah, yeah look, it's broken the side of the... Where the head gasket pokes out here as well. But that doesn't matter because that don't do anything. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Oh. Okay. It snaps from there. If you see the block on the behind, crate open up. Maybe it's supposed oh, to yeah. be on the block yeah. and drop inside. Yeah. yeah. That's nothing major, really. 
Well, it's come quite a long way. It's not that bad, is it, for them? <laughs> the distance is coming yeah. up. Oh, 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 oh. Shiny. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that there, then? Open up. Ooh. Candice. <laughs> How small they are, it's unbelievable, is it? Yeah, they're not big. Is this that old ultra, is it? A different language. It's warm, it's... Spanish, ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I hit the right way around. Oh, yeah, oh this is a little bit. detail. Jeez, yeah. man. Bit of shit. Ah, this is... Ah, this is... I'll get you drift, yeah, yeah. It's a different language, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Cheers, I want to see my van now. I want to build one with one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Here she is. Yes, lad. Turned up, mate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's going to be nice in that, isn't it? Ooh. Do you know what? Do you want to grab four mirror? You want to take that. <laughs> you don't Go really on. want to take it off. Of course. Today. Fuck. It's <laughs> the first thing we have to do. First thing you got to do. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't even notice your oil cap. Oh, it's just pushing, is it? That's what it is, yeah. You can see it in there. It just looks like typical stuff. It's, you know. But yeah, it's a push on oil cap. That's odd, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Proper American, that is. Red next time, right there. <laughs> What? That's Another what exciting delivery. <laughs> it says on the side. Look at the size of the ports. Size of the fucking valves inside, Jesus. What? <laughs> they are absolutely enormous. No wonder it makes about a million horsepower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. There's so much to machine of this. Well, not even where it is. I need to get that way. There's a point. It's huge. Well, should we open this one? There's a plan to go on this, and this engine will be beautiful with a plan on the top. <laughs> you wonder how, how does it make boundary brakes? <laughs> That's crazy. No way. Put it on just from there. Yeah, it's I'm sure it's not quite the round. This is definitely the right, better than that engine. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. You look at it's that. Between look at that. that, yeah. Can you put it on? Yeah. That's the. Uh-uh. That's a tip. This is right. Shut up, shut Bad, is it? I know it's not. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Who do they make an A? Huh? Who do they make an A once? Um, is it Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> it's about 450 or something like that, was it? Yeah, yeah. The, what, the, the, the ones that are built to be an A make 525 at uh, <laughs> But these are yeah. built for turbo and it's 450. It's like you never come for it. Fancy scent. Holy rest on it. Beauty. You got a resump. Modern for that, it's all aluminium, isn't it? <laughs> I want one of these in my van now. 
Then we got these. Absolutely beauty. Trans brake. Do you know what? What I'm seeing here, because obviously TH400. George, we need to be a few here. That is a fitment for my transfer case, believe it or not. Really? My transfer case on my van, that is the fitment for it. Oh, I'm, not, so you're I'm gonna... shitting you not. So, <laughs> so you have the you have the one You better make sure <laughs> that thing is on yours. Oh, oh yeah, the workshop got robbed last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my van's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to have a go in my van? <laughs> oh, what's in there then? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, take it out. Oh. Yeah, let's put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I should do a compression. It's almost the same. It's all common sense. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, I do prefer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly the same. Oh, shit. Smack it. Snap your fingers up. <laughs> I, do, I do like it in satin black, though. That's badass. Yeah. It is the same it's thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Bolt that on. We need, we need to have a look at yeah, it like yeah. that. Get on, get on. Kick <laughs> off bolts. Yeah, come, come to the nice island, you think. Oh. Yeah, it won't be enough. You have a gasket in between now. Yeah, yeah, you've got everything there. For now, it's just, uh, for now it's just to look at it. Just appreciate how beautiful the thing is. So, yeah. Well, a good thing I'm going camping soon, so I got some wood. <laughs> campfire. LSX. Build. You know, models. 09, 25, 2020. Sensor. Do you know what it says on the sensor? On the crank sensor? China 1935 zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's mad, isn't it? Well, do you reckon they make any of it there? Oh, mm. all of the, uh, the actual fucking engines built in the USA. Yeah. 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 All the sensors, all the small it's bases, like you make them in China because obviously it's cheaper, yeah. Yeah. It's cheaper for, the, for the production. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's prop, that's what I mean, there's. It might be an LS yeah. engine, but almost nothing will bolt Have you seen the size of the DAOs for the so gearbox? Yeah, I know, it's meant for everything's it's, enormous. Look at the thing. Yeah. Back of my finger. But they are built, you know, LSXs were in no road cars, they were purely the race car stuff. Yeah, but you one know. in my van. Oh, yeah. Hmm. For my expedition van, just because... Have you, you seen know. even the core plugs of those massive screwing motherfuckers? Have you seen it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rather than pushing core Proper plus, stuff. It's giant. Proper stuff. Look at this. Yeah. And on the back. Yeah, the back was going everywhere. Oh, just the edge of the gasket. Yeah, and then just a bit of side. Yeah, it's the sensor. Pop them now, but it's, that's okay. We just replace it. It's not really a big deal. We'll probably got them on the shelf at We take it out and see this. Well, there should be anything else. Let's send that over there anyway. If they did need to get it, wouldn't take long at all. Where? We're supposed to use this one. And then somehow we end up with this. <laughs> A little bit better. <laughs> oh my god. But the thing is, this oh, is gonna be this is gonna be on the road in no time. Yeah. Because we're gonna take that one back. We're we gonna take that one back today, tomorrow, or Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. The yeah. whole thing to Thursday. Thursday. That, yeah, that's going back Thursday, and then. Get the so you F1 in here then. <laughs> so you bring the F100 here, take that back. Swap them up. Yeah, swap yeah, them
<laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I'm making a, Mate, you a have 70 year old chassis um, a bit less shit. So you're transferring the dirt from the chassis to, to you? my face. To yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It looks like you're enjoying yourself, I don't know. It's just like. No, a... it's not that enjoyable, no, but it's like, fuck it, these do. Oh, easier than getting a tan. Fuck me. Like after you install a shower in the, in the, yeah. in the workshop soon. But it's, it's pretty bloody clean, mine. I mean, most of that's dust as well. You can wipe it off and it's, it's a lot cleaner than it is. Yeah, it is coming up. Yeah. It's actually clean. Yeah, it's very clean. You can see everything. I mean, look at the rivets. They're all shiny, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Morica. This is good. Mm. Be flexible because there's no cross, there's no cross member because that was a support for the gearbox, which, which is here somewhere. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. That bit that was in between the cross member, which didn't give, give any rigidity whatsoever, so we're still doing this. Oh well. I think may not be the best idea to put over a thousand brake horsepower engine in a chassis in this state so there's a you bit of work to do <laughs> yeah tons of stuff to do i mean I those, like that. those engine mounts are pretty fantastic i like that i love that yeah i think it looks awesome yeah the engine mounts were saying yeah engine mounts yeah this is a piece of art really it's like this is how you want to do it this is proper I'm not sure if I can do as good. It'd be difficult. That's true American fabrication, I guess. Yeah. I would say this is proper Rodnik style, but I don't want to offend any Rodniks yeah. because they would. Do no. That, yeah. They do a much I mean, better, like much better do. job. They chewed that hole themselves, by the looks of it, with their teeth. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Someone get angry on that. Yeah. Oh, hungry. Yeah, this is not really. Well, this is my hand. This is leaf springs. It's supposed to be on a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I would say. But we got a big disc brake uh, kit. Not sure if it works or not, but there you go. Well, <clears throat> this is the project. How we call this project? The project in between. Yeah, I don't know what to call it. It's an F1. <laughs> this is the project in the in mid time. In mid time, we're finishing the, the corner line because we have to wait for a couple of tools doing this. Project 70. I don't know. It's project. 70 years old. <coughs> yeah. Project suicide attempt, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. Imagine you sitting in this car, it's like how much protection will give it to you? It does considering you can carry it, two people. Yeah. No. Yeah, this is me and Steve, we can lift it like no problems. No problems. So, it really is a tin box, <clears throat> which is beautiful, don't take me wrong, I love this stuff. But maybe a roll cage <laughs> would be nice to have inside. And uh, well, yeah. This chassis weight it can't be that much. The chassis weights? Yeah. No, because it's a it's C shaped, so it's not even closed. The side walls are fairly thin. So there's not much metal here. There really isn't much. Obviously, we're gonna get different front end. We're gonna wait a little bit more, but not really that much more. I wouldn't be surprised if the newer front end <coughs> they won't have that bar like that and stuff away well yeah you're right you know leaf springs are heavy the front bars are always heavy yeah i wouldn't be surprised if the newer front end is not much different not much different or even maybe lighter rear axle again it's not going to be much more because we're going to remove the rear axle this is this this axle won't last to get out of the workshop and <laughs> get it there so we're going to put something really beefy on the back with a diff lock but again, removing the leaf springs, 
falling in the pedal suspension. Uh, maybe, maybe slightly heavier on the back. Yeah, but, not really. But we're not talking like this is still gonna be, be a very light, bit. very light and very powerful. Right. Oh, good morning, beautiful. I love this car. And this one as well. And that one, and that one, and that one. I love them all. <laughs> However, let's see what Steve did with this chassis. He says he won't be able to finish at all, but at least the majority. You know what? He was right. This thing is clean. There you go. There's bare metal almost everywhere. It's no rust. He was right. The the deal is that we gonna <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put a cab on the chassis. Uh, obviously, removing all the old stuff, removing all the stuff that is not necessary. You're not gonna use it. Uh, the front end obviously is gonna disappear. We're not gonna put 1,200 brakes uh, and keeping this front axle. <laughs> that would be a little bit too much, a little bit too risky, too much of a suicide. So the front end is gonna, I'm not gonna build anything custom. This has to be quick, nice, clean job. So we're taking the whole front from the Mustang because they do like a conversions from the Mustang too, I believe. And you take everything, including well, the cross member, the steering rack and the brakes, the hubs, airbags yeah this is gonna be on air and um and all that stuff so the whole front end for now i'm not concerned i don't care because the whole kit is gonna arrive soon from america we're gonna put it on very easy job on the bag though there is a different story because this small axle here it will not last from here to that door out of the workshop so this has to be changed and uh, <clears throat> i'm thinking to use a nissan patrol real axle the biggest version the normal one will be more than enough but i think i'm gonna use the biggest version so he's never gonna have a problems like never and they have a diff lock originally standard and if you know how to use it it won't break there's many of you there watching this video saying oh i know need some patrol diff locks they weak their stuff no they're not they're good you just have to know how to use them to don't break them um i used to use them in competition all the stuff never broke one well, I did broke one, but it was already it was already on his way, so it wasn't my fault. However, yeah, he some patrol axle on the back, big disc brakes and everything, enormous uh, shafts inside, so massive uh, differential it won't break. Uh, obviously, yes, we're gonna remove the leaf springs. I'm gonna remove them completely. I'm gonna remove um, four link independent suspension, uh, maybe triangulated both ways, maybe panned. I'm not sure yet. I have to design and have to think about that. So that's not the time for this yet. I want to put the engine in first and then work on the chassis. However, once we build the basics, so remove all the mounts that is not that are not necessary that we're not gonna use, put new mounts, put new suspension stuff, blah blah, and all the stuff. We're gonna then strip it down completely, remove everything, and then the whole chassis is gonna go for some blasting. The whole cab is gonna be finished to be some blasted, as you see is already well kind of half done and uh, it is a pleasure to see underneath it's just bare metal and the end is perfect it's very clean there's no rust on this thing i think there is a bit of uh, on the other side there there's a bit of a patch oh on this side here that's it but that's all so even inside it's nice and clean so it's very clean the bonnet but well, everything is is this is beautiful i'm very jealous i would love to build something like this for myself but obviously can't afford stuff like this so but again i get to build one so that's good enough and um, i actually like this front end i do like it so yes it's gonna be stripped down um gonna be sunblasted painted beautifully including the chassis all the components and everything and then uh, it's gonna get back here and i'm gonna assemble it finally then put obviously the engine loom and all the stuff and then and then we have to go for mapping. We have to map it. And uh, yeah, we have to find a dyno that is good for a good over a thousand brakes. So that's the plan. Now, I know you used to see 
the color line on this ramp. But like I say, the color line will have to put in the pose a little bit because uh, as, you, as you know, we went for the fully independent suspension from the back, kind of like a buggy style chassis. And that one I have to design it on the computer, <clears throat> hopefully with the help of my brother because he's much better on the computer stuff than me. And um, and yeah, we just then design the chassis from the scratch almost, you know, I mean the front and back section. We just leave the mid section original for pretty much no reason now. And then, uh, but for that I need to wait for the for laser cutter for to make a prototypes because it will take way too long and it's going to cost too much to every time build the prototypes and use external company to build the prototypes. So I have to do the prototypes in-house and then once I know everything is good, I'm going to use some company, some lazy company to build my parts because everything, we have to build everything from hubs to arms to subframes to, to pretty much everything. Everything is going to be custom made and handcrafted. Uh, you see it. It's a, it's a big job. And uh, but again, I have to pause it because we need some tools. I need that uh, laser cutter arriving and all that stuff. It's gonna take time. So this is that's why I'm saying this is the in mid time job. This is the project in mid time called nothing major. Just you know, 200 brakes, you know, all the hot rod style. <laughs> 19. This is 1951. It's incredible. I love it. And it's just a pleasure to see something like this living so long and it's still intact, you know, there's no rust. I wish they still build these cars the same way. Well, not maybe exactly the same way, but the same quality as rust protection, still, I don't know, just don't make them rust, you know, so, because I do hate when stuff rusts. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm just gonna build exhaust manifolds, downpipes, boost uh, intercooler system, and I think we're gonna use this little baby here. This one here. Yep. <laughs> this is this is my hand in comparison. There you go. So I think this is the correct size. Um, and it should look fairly good in front of that engine there. We should it before and I'm gonna discover again. I'm gonna build another 1.8 turbo because as you know, I'm doing the engine swap kit for MR2 with this engine in it. Um, comprehensive so everything in including the engine room and everything however that swap kit it will be good even for the 1.8 turbo 20 valve audi volkswagen engine not just 1.9 diesel so you have a choice of the diesel 1.9 tdi and the 1.8 turbo which obviously is going to make much more power and now one i'm really trying to push it a little bit more than this because obviously this is diesel a lot of torque but Power is limited to about 400, 450 brakes without the nitrous. With the nitrous, you can go just over 500 brakes roughly, but again, just fuel. Um, on the 1.8 turbo, 20 valve one, I think we're gonna push it close to whatever the car weights. That's the plan at least. And then obviously we see because plans in this workshop changes uh, every day or every 10 minutes, <laughs> I would say. But I would like to get a car to about, I don't know, 850 kilograms maybe, or 800 kilograms, roughly like this, and push maybe over 700 brakes. If I get to 600, I'll be happy, but if I get close, if I get close to one to one ratio, that I'll be, I'll be very happy, but we'll see where we go. However, this video is not about these plans and this swap kit and all that stuff, but about that thing. I do like it. So this baby is gonna go to sleep. Oh, if you wanna do update on this, yeah, this is, I've done the blank plate on the, this is the, the half shaft from the differential, which is on the side as a blank plug, just machine on the lathe. Uh, there's another one here. That's how it looks like. It's very simple. This is pressed in like very strong. It will not come off. And I got another two discs, just off cuts, and I have to make one still there. So that's pretty much it. Removing the whole differential inside the the, the front diff. We're gonna leave the mid section. Uh, I'm gonna obviously gonna block the this diff. So 
the all motion is gonna go on the back, three wheel drive. But that's it really. This is sleeping now. My brother is gonna arrive soon to build me the engine lump because I do struggle with time. So I do need some help and he agreed to pop down and give me a hand. So that would be very good and very helpful. Yeah, has a turbo system for it. Had to take it apart. And what we got here? This is my front diff locker. These are actually very good. I find them very good. This is another cheap, um, a very cheap solution for the front differential locker. What is for? I'll show you what this for. I treated myself finally. It's supposed to be done ages ago. It is for the van. Yep. So. Nissan Patrol axle on the front, and that is a Nissan Patrol Y621 front differential locker. The automatic one. The one that makes noise when it's, it disengage, when you turn, a click, click, click. It doesn't bother me, and then as soon as you put it four wheel drive, it locks automatically. So you cannot use it four wheel drive on the tarmac. You can only use it when you off-road, because otherwise you won't be able to see, because it locks the front diff automatically. So, but it's okay with me because that van is rear-wheel drive primarily and then it's four-wheel drive when I select it and it's four-wheel drive low gear when I select it again. So now he's gonna have center diff lock, rear diff lock and the front diff lock. So it's truly four-wheel drive. But I think that's it because this video is gonna get boring. I know I didn't put any videos for a long time. I just accumulated a lot of stuff and I truly didn't have enough time because I was flying. I did tidy up this place tiny bit, a little bit. You remember this was shocking bad. It is still bad, but it's much better now. Uh, I still have to do a lot of stuff. And um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll see you pretty soon.